Hello, grade 8 students, and welcome again to our English 8 for today. And we are we are already in the sixth week, and by next week, we will be having already our uh, first quarter examination. So I hope uh, you will get ready for this lesson. This lesson will be very easy, but you have to comprehend this lesson really. Okay, here we go. Our lesson is, as you can see, it's cohesive devices. Now, what are cohesive devices? Now, from the word cohesive, uh, oh, a, before we go that one, let's go to our lesson outline first. Okay, so welcome to our class. This is our lesson outline. First, we will be talking about the purpose of cohesive devices. We will be learning cohesive devices. So, unsa may purpose niya. And next, the uses. Unsa gamit sa mga cohesive devices. And let me go first to the cohesive devices or what we call a transition signals. Okay? Now, a cohesive signal, cohesive devices or transition signals are actually a words, you know, that connect uh, an idea from another one. Okay? So, mao na tong word from the word transition. Get transition ra niya ang one idea to the next one. Okay? Now, transition ideas. The purposes of transition I uh, uh, transition, uh, transition, transition, sig transition signals, the I, uh, transition ideas. Transition. Pero mo pulo sa cohesive devices or transition signals, the transition ideas. But transition signals or cohesive devices are uh, help show relationships. That's what mo na yung ninyo. They show relationships between ideas within sentences and paragraphs. So maybe i connect niya ang one sentence to the other, or maybe i connect niya ang, ang preceding paragraph sa the next paragraph. Okay? They make a, a text more understandable. Mas masabta ninyo siya if mo gamit mo og cohesive devices. Because the details flow naturally to convey the message. Okay? Now, uh, read the following paragraph and study how the highlighted cohesive device is used. Again, you have to read this one. I'll give you time. You can pause the video and I uh, and read uh, this passage. Are you done? Okay. So, uh, ang naka-highlight dira, ang naka-highlight dira na cohesive device is what? Is but. Unsay purpose sa but? Unsay purpose sa but dira? Unsay how does it how does it connect the ideas? Also, atong basahon, they waited for him another day until many more days passed, then weeks, then months. But no sign of Ogalusa brought any hope of his return. Hmm, unsay pulo sa but? Okay? Bisa awa? Ang, ang, ang giingon sa sentence, ang giingon sa paragraph is they waited for him another day until many more days passed. So, gipangita nila, ginaghuwat sila. Naghuwat sila, but no sign of Ogalusa brought any hope of his return. So, that means, ang kanang but there, you know, it contrasts uh, that a, a forthcoming signal, uh, an idea, contrasts with the previously mentioned idea. Bisag naghuwat sila, they were hopeful, di ba? The tone there is hopeful. Nga, you know, bubalik siya. Naghuwat sila for many days, ma, uh, days, weeks, and months. Naghuwat sila, pero, but, walay sign. Of Ogalusa, there is no sign of Ogalusa. Therefore, 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 this is a uh, a cohesive device that contrasts ideas. I got to hopeful man na yung kaniyang first na sent, ang kaniyang first part sa sentence. Ang kaniyang ikaduha, ang kanasakan part, you know, it's a negative idea. So you know, the but there, you know, contrasts ideas. Here's another paragraph. I want you to read this paragraph. Pause this video. Read this paragraph. And tell me, unsay polus? Or what's the use of kanang after dera? Okay? Are you done? Okay, so atong basahan. One of the sons exclaimed, I can put breath into him. After doing his work, everyone saw their father's, father's chest rise and fall. Hmm. Unsay polus after? What's the use of after? Think. Unsay polus after? Now, after there is a cohesive device that signals a step or a process. It's a process na ay nahitabo, di ba? Na ay nahitabo. So, after, you know, after nga, uh, after ni Sulti ang son nga, you know, I can put breath to him, ah, na yun, nahitabo, na yun, kaya iya na itong ibuhat. So, it's a, it's a process. 
And after sa pro, after ano after ato kay you know ang chest sa ang chest ni Ugalusa you know rose and fall. So mao na ang purpose sa after uh, sa sa kana nga uh, cohesive device. After signals a step or a process. Next, uh, kani basa ni you read this uh, line and then pause this video read this line and then determine unsay pulos anang naka highlight na cohesive device. Okay? Done? Good. Sige, so atong basahon, my father will give the cow tail to me. I did the most because it was I who found the, who found his trail. So, unsay pulo sa because? Mm, I think, I think, yeah, I think we are thinking the same thing because there gives a, a cause and ref, cause and effect relationship very good. Na ase kwan kay because be oh ano siya ano siya kay tungod daw nga siya nakau oh, yai hatag yai hatag ang kautil sa koha because tungod kay ako minakita siya trail it's a cause and effect relationship and yes because there is a cohesive device that tells us the relationship of the two you know the two ideas nga sila cause and effect dey sila okay now Sir Kevin, more ni sila. So, ang kaning cohesive device, more ni mga because, after, o but, no. Daghan sila. And we can uh, classify them according to their purposes. Okay? So, let's look into the different uses of uh, cohesive devices. The first one is these are the cohesive devices that show contrast. Okay? So, uh, lahi ni sila. These are, these are cohesive devices na would tell nga this idea is different from another one. So, can you, although, but, despite, even if, even so, however, in contrast to, in opposition to, in spite of, instead, nevertheless, on the contrary, on the other hand, on one hand, rather than, although, unlike, and yet. So, these are, kanin na mga cohesive devices, gamito na to siya, if you know, if atong ideas kay managlahi, they're, they're different, okay? And if they're different, we use this cohesive device devices. Now, what if comparison? Pariha sila. So, mo ni ato ang mga cohesive devices that we are going to use if these are all comparisons. We're just, you know, comparing the two. So, we have here all and, o oh, very common yun end, and as both compared to, in comparison with, just, like, likewise, and similarly. So, kani sila, of course, ang kaning idea, so, you know, pareha sa sila timbang. They're just, you know, the same. Like, for example, uh, uh, let's say, for example, kanang kuhan, both. Ano? Uh, I don't know, mga uh, Like, oh, kani, kani, like, oh. He has done, he has done something like, uh, like it was never done before. So, gikompare niya nga, wala, pag hindi nakabuhat, ato yung gipabuhat. So he's the first one to do it. Okay? That's comparison. Now let's go to cause and effect relationship. So can you cause and effect relationship? Of course, you know this one. So nai cause, ni nai effect. Or maguna bro ng effect, nai ng cause. So mo ni ato mga cohesive devices for cause and effect. We have as a consequence, as a result, because, thus, bring about, caused by, consequently, due to, for, can you very common ni ang for. And for this reason, hence, resulting from, resulting in, since, so, another very common so, yun, therefore. Okay? So, mani sila ang mga uh, uh, cohesive devices that show cause and effect. And lastly, these are the cohesive devices that show steps in a process. Na asi gisunod na process. This is a cause and effect. Kaya ang cause, of, uh, cause and effect, obviously, the effect of something or the cause of something, but this is a process. So, that's the process. Let's say, let's say, for example, you can see these cohesive devices, you know, when you bake a cake and you're following a uh, uh, a cookbook or kind of recipe from the internet. So, you are going to most likely, you know, see this one. So, mga mga steps in a process. So, we have the after, afterward, at this point, on the stay, at this stage, finally, yung kind of mga first, second, third, first, second, third, o kind of siya. That's a process. And then lastly, Next, now, then, and ultimately. So these are cohesive devices that show steps in a process. Okay? So that's
that is basically our lesson for today. Let's review our lesson. We have the purpose of cohesive devices. They make text understandable and, you know, they show relationships. And we also went to the uses of cohesive devices. We learned about the uh, cohesive devices that show contrast, that show comparison, that show cause and effect, and that show steps in a process. Okay? So that would be our lesson for today. If you have any questions, please prepare them for our question time tomorrow. Okay? So we will have we will be meeting synchronously tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay? And please answer your exit ticket because in your exit ticket, that is where I will put the link for the exercise. I will send it through your email. Please check your uh for your spam or your promotions. I will send the exercise there. But first, you have to submit the exit ticket. Okay? So I think that would be all. Thank you so much for joining our class today. I hope you will be, uh, I hope you're safe there in your houses. And God bless everyone. Bye-bye.